All right, this is part five of lesson nine. Um, we're going to look at uh, video transparency. Um, so now in the um, right in this area, we're going to add um, a pop-up video that's already been encoded with an alpha channel to show the transparent background, um, which it's already been done. Um, Adobe already went through all the steps of doing that themselves. And also, all we should have to do is just know how to add it in. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to add a layer, new layer, and let's um, we'll call that pop-up video. Okay, and now we're going to also add um, some keyframes, um, same as. Um, where we have our actions here. We're going to add it on frame 51. And we'll also want to add, we want to leave about one frame here. Um, and add this keyframe at, um, I could probably do it at 86. Just so you leave one frame in there before you hit the, uh, the, the, uh, the other videos because we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have some of these pop-up videos that are gonna pop up in here before you can select these buttons and those are gonna be back here at the at the, uh, the tail end of our our timeline okay so now in our pop-up video layer we're gonna select on the second half of it because we're gonna add the that transparent uh, video on the back part and and I added that keyframe to the wrong layer sorry let me clear that keyframe and let me add that to the pop-up insert keyframe okay that looks better okay I'm gonna slick select somewhere inside that area and let's do file import import video and once again I think we're gonna do it here with the um, the first one that's selected load external video playback component let's do browse and go to our folder and look for our file, which is the popup.flv. Let's do open. Next. Um, see, for the skin on this one, we want this to be none. Let's do next and finish. And, and there you can see, if you look at the video, there's a gray background. But in this one, it worked. So the transparency worked on this one. Let's go ahead and do a test. I'm going to do command return. Good day. My name is Paul Smith. I'm the zoo director here at Sherwood Wildlife Zoo. Before you go into the park, we'd like you to learn a few things about the amazing animals we have here at Sherwood. Okay. So click on a video. Click on a sound. Have a great day at the park. And you'll notice that entire thing all came in. So it worked pretty good. Because um, it probably actually lasts a lot longer than this. So because of our selections, what we selected, it, it um, even though we have it cut off here, but the video lasted longer. Okay. All right, now let's go to our beginning. And now we're going to add another pop-up video in this section, in the very beginning section before that comes on. So we're going to select somewhere in that that area. We're going to do File, Import, Import Video. And on and this, this time we're not going to do the load video with playback component. We're going to do embed FLV in SWF and play in timeline. Because we're going to add a uh, motion tween to it. Okay, so let's browse and locate our 
file. So dest, and we want the polar bear FLV to open to next. Now we have this. So we do want to place the instance on the stage. Yes. Um, expand timeline if needed. Um, we're gonna. We don't want that, and we don't want the audio on this one. So we're gonna uncheck that. Let's do next. Finish. And we got our polar bear here. And let's do a test. So control test movie test. Good day. My and name is Paul the, Smith. I'm the work. zoo director here at Sherwood Wildlife Preserve. Okay. And so there we have the video in the beginning of our on our pop-up layer and then after that one ends and then our transparent one starts now what we're going to do is on that beginning on this polar bear we're going to add a motion tween to that to the polar bear so let's click somewhere on that area let's do a right click and create motion tween Now, this says it, that um, we need to have it as a symbol in order to do that. So do we want to convert it into a tween? Uh, yes, yeah, so hit OK. Now it says that it has to be 316 frames. And do we want all those frames to be inserted in the timeline span? And yes, we do. We want all of that. So yes. And you can't really view it since it's a... And it looks like I accidentally made a keyframe. Not sure how I did. Oh, maybe because I moved it. Okay. Now we do want to add some keyframes now that we have this as a motion tween. What we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to give that an alpha keyframe. So I'm going to go to the last frame here. So on this very last frame, I'm going to click on the video itself, and then under color effect, you know, we've done this a few, a few times, we go down to the alpha, and that is this one, we want it to be zero. Yes. So now that will fade all the way from the beginning, and it'll start fading to the very end. But what we want is we want it to like last long and then fade out. So I'm gonna come over here around frame 30 somewhere and let's click on that again our bear video and it's already, it's already on alpha so we're going to change that to 100 so now it should be in its entirety here and then it'll fade out at the very end all right let's do a control test Take a look, and there it faded out. Good day! My name is Paul Smith. I'm the zoo director here at Sherwood Wildlife Preserve. Before you go into the park, we'd you like you to learn it? a few things about the amazing animals we have here at Sherwood. So click on a video, click on a sound, have a great day at the park. All right, let's test our buttons. The penguins have it. The typical. Make sure everything works. <laughs> Everything looks good. And we'll call that the end of lesson nine.